Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a brand new Mazda CX-30 facelift 2024. Actually, it's a facelift 2024. They kind of claim it's a 2024, but the changes that they bring to the car, they are kind of minimalist. Even though it's an amazing car, amazing family crossover, small SUV car with a lot of high quality, they didn't bring too much changes from the previous version, but they bring a few changes that we will talk in this video, a few small changes that are quite useful from my point of view. So first of all, first change is the fact that down here we have two USB-C ports that are illuminated then we have the 10.3 inch screen display we have also the digital screen in the middle a little bit bigger and also it comes in some countries with some different trim levels different colors it comes with glossy rims black rims it comes with the mirror cap in black glossy on other version in other countries for example depending which country you are you may have also different powertrains and combination of powertrains but keep in mind and also some new colors but keep in mind the car it's basically 99% the same car as the previous 2024 model so in this video i will take you through the car exterior interior we will do the full review i will show you the multimedia also i will show you how to connect your iphone to this uh, multimedia system wireless so you can use the apple carplay also with android is the same story and we will talk about every single detail and feature of the car before we go forward if you are in romania if you are in bucharest uh, you can see the car you can test drive the car you can buy the car you can go at arian motors i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they have also some discounts and this period of time so check them out definitely if you are around here i will really really recommend you to check with them because they uh, might have a great deal for you i want to give you some technical data and then we will start with a review and we will talk about everything first of all the version that i have with me is the exclusive line exclusive line version it's one of the top end version and it's kind of the most expensive version because it has a lot of features already integrated on it here at least in romania at Arian Motors, the price of the car that I have with me, plus the color that I love the color, we will talk about it. Uh, it's the red soul crystal color and the price is 750 euro only for the color, but the color is just gorgeous. The price is 32,000 euro with all the taxes included. So for a Mazda, a brand new Mazda, 32,000 euro, I think it's a good deal from my point of view, but I let you choice if that's a good deal or not i just want to present you the car the version that i have with me come with a two liter petrol engine e sky active g that means it comes also with a mild hybrid system it comes with a small electric motor like a starter and a 48 volt battery that help the thermal engine to consume less and to have some power when coasting and when starting the car so this is super useful as i said two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line it's a front wheel drive system and it's connected to a six speed automatic transmission the top speed of the car 194 km per hour 0 to 110 seconds 144 co2 grams emission the consumption vltp estimated it's 6.4 liter if you want to find out the real consumption i have already made today a test drive video where i test the consumption so if you want to see that probably it's already on the channel if it's not stay close because you will see it next days now when it comes to space the trunk space 430 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1406 liters so from my point of view it's not super crazy spacious but it's more than okay if you have a family with let's say one kids you can go also in holidays in trips without any problem but it's not a super spacious car fuel tank capacity it's 51 liters also the ground clearance 17.5 centimeters and the turning circle 10.6 meter 
The weight of the car around 1435 kilograms. Also it comes with brake discs on the rear and ventilated brake discs on the front and 18 inch wheels come standard also on this version and I will show you when we go outside. So those are the most important technical data. Now let's start the review exterior, interior and then in the end we will make the conclusion. This is the key of the car, the same key as on the previous version. Also on the side we have the buttons for lock and unlock and also open the trunk and because the car come with an automatic lift gate in the trunk you can open it also from the key i really like this key i think it's one of the most beautiful key that you can find on the car it's very light and it looks fancy now let's see if i can close it i didn't try before but you can close the trunk also from the key and this is super super useful I like that and then you can lock the car from here and you can see every time you lock the car it comes also with electric folding mirror so you can choose from the menu to fold it in and fold it out super simple like that love that this is what you can do with the key as I said in the beginning the car it's basically 99% the same car as on the previous version the only change is that Mazda bring in on this CX-30 is the fact that on some countries you are able to get black rims in glossy plastic black mirror caps and sometimes in the front you have all black grille with those chrome parts but if we look at the exterior design it's basically the same car as on the previous version they did a few changes in the interior that we will talk after that we understand that the exterior design is basically the same let's talk a little bit about the design because maybe some of you didn't see my previous video with the previous version and i have to say that i like very much this cx30 i think it looks really beautiful it has beautiful design beautiful lines and i love this color this is the soul red crystal color and it looks just wonderful depending from which side direction you look at it it's changed the color it's brighter it's it's gorgeous and the combination of chrome with glossy plastic i think it looks really really nice also those silver rims fit quite nice with the car and with the chrome around the car and also in the front of the grille it's a beautiful car in general it's a crazy attractive car let me be honest with you my wife it's a big fan of Mazda cars because of the shape because of the designs of the car and I have to be honest with you I really like it and uh, I like what Mazda did and do with the exterior design it's a really nice car I like the front end of the car I think it looks really nice I love the grill the way they designed the grill with this uh, piano black here in this area we have the Mazda logo with the radar the radar is behind here then you have some pedals clappers I don't know if you can see inside there they are closed and open depend what the engine need to be cooled down or heating up and down here the same story it has some clappers that are closed right now because it's cold outside but in the summer they can open to let some air to cool down to go to radiator and cool down different parts there in general it looks really beautiful i don't know about you but i really love the way it looks also now on this version we have the matrix led lights that i tested last night and i did a separate video if you want to see it check it out because i talk about the lights there and they are wonderful they look really nice in the nighttime they are super visible uh, also the low beam the high beam and also they are quite nice integrated and they look wonderful from my point of view and even this chrome design here it looks so nice it comes outside the sharp edges the lines look at the lines here look at the extended front here it looks so cool i mean from my point of view very very nice design the turning signal it's moved down here and it's pulping a little bit different it's not a normal pulping it's a different pulping that i saw in the last years with the last facelift that BMW tried to kind of copy it and, and install it on their cars and it looks nice from my point of view it adds a little bit of premium and nice looking to the car on the down part you have this plastic mat down here that it's a little bit of dark net a little bit and it looks super super nice so what do you think about the front end 
I think it looks really cool. Here it comes with some cameras and sensors for light and raining, plus the camera can read the traffic speed limit, the traffic signs, it helps with lane assist, and also it's great in combination with the radar in front here that help you use these uh, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, and all that active safety features. You can see the same pulping light for the turning signals right here on the mirror caps on the side the mirror caps design it's wonderful and also i like the way they design it the same color the same paint right here it looks so so cool big mirrors good visibility we will talk about them when we go inside i talk about them in the test drive video and i tell you that they are a little bit different because the mirror glass it's a little bit more zoom in and from the interior you have such a good visibility in the back here is the blind spot technology in the corner that comes with the car as well then here we have some chrome on the down part some glossy plastic very nice transition between the windows and even here on the b pillar we have this glossy plastic good transition a little bit of plastic here on the upper side and this is a matte plastic in this area and other than that i love the handles look at the handles so nice integration in the doors they look really cool and they are aerodynamic no wonder why the the sound from outside and the noise from outside is not that loud when you drive at high speeds and because they kind of design the a pillar a little bit lower you see that that allowed the car i drive on the highway and i was surprised uh, on the sound insulation and the air because it comes it flows like that you can you barely hear noise inside the cabin probably because of this a pillar that it's a little bit lower in this area here is the tank 51 liter tank capacity on the driver's side i love that very easy and up here the roof spoiler look just phenomenal with some glossy plastic extended on the side tinted windows here tinted windows here so a nice combination of colors it looks really really cool and in the back the same story the same unique uh, design on the tail lamps i, I mean the tail lamps they are quite unique. You can't find in other model, in other cars. You know from very long distance, this is a Mazda because you don't find in other cars the same design on the tail lights. This is the fog lamps, LED light, reverse light, LED light, turning signal LED, everything it's LED. So I love that. And the same pulping, great light, super nice. And you can see them also from the side. Down here is the LED lights on the number plate, the same LED reverse camera. Down here you have some reflector, light reflectors. Then you have the bumper, the same color as on the front. And I like the fact that it's a little bit more extended. That means if you go in the back, if you hit something, you hit it with this plastic, so it's fine. Uh, you don't scratch the paint. This is a good thing. I like the fact that we have exhaust pipes still real exhaust pipes two exhaust pipes on the both sides it looks also nice and even this area here is nice designed a little bit higher e sky active g and then here cx 30 and then the mazda logo the wiper led brake lights and i let to the end the best part of the car and I don't know how they manage, but they design it a very beautiful car. And it's not only beautiful, it's also practical because they leave, leave this uh, protection around the wheels. Those plastic protections are super, super useful. And they are not just small like in other cars. They really, really, they are really big, like 10 centimeters. And those protections here are super useful because they will protect the paint of the car in time to not uh, get scratch or get rust in time and also the down skirt it's a little bit extended everywhere on the doors the same story the same story in the front here protected here so you don't have to worry about the uh, rust and scratch and stuff like that so from this point of view i like it silver rims 18 inch rims winter tires ventilated brake discs in the front simple brake calipers and here we have normal brake disc with simple uh, brake calipers so in general this is the exterior basically kind of the same car as on the previous version now guys i want to show you also the engine bay and then we will go inside we don't need these lights anymore just like that front of the car it's so beautiful ah uh, let me see if i can do that with one hand man this is heavy oh my god this is heavy because it's so extended in the front this hood it's it's heavy 
Now, this is the engine. It looks quite nice the way they are it here and the fact that they, they leave so much space in the front for the engine. It leaves a little bit of space of stuff between them here, so it's easy to work on it. High Active G in the middle with Mazda logo. The wiper liquid is here. There is the battery, 12 volt battery, the air filter and the fuse box on the right side. So that's it. But because the front of the car, this part is big, the engine have also a big place there. I have also my package here, automatic lift gate in the trunk. The same as on the previous version. Here is the handle. Here are also the buttons to close it. You have this protection for the trunk that I will take it out. And check this out. You have this protection from two parts. This is something that I want to show you, but it's very easy to take it out just like that. You take it out in two seconds. But in general, the space here, it's relatively big. I mean, even if you have kids, I leave this for a purpose here, you still can go in holidays or carry different items without without any problem anyway let me take this out and then i will show you how it looks without it okay now i take out that protection so you can look a little bit better the entrance in the trunk it's relatively big i mean from my point of view you have more than enough space to fit in a lot of things here have some plastic at the entrance maybe one centimeter deepness here some storage space here a small storage space here hooks in every corner you have a white light and under this that you can also put it like that look how cool it is you can also pull it like that and take it out and then you have some extra storage space there for triangle and medical kit you have also the possibility to go even lower a little bit you don't have a spare tire but you have plenty of useful uh, stuff that you can put here so yeah it's it's relatively fine i mean for the size of the car it's more than okay now if you want to fold down the seat you have to go around here and press this button and you fold it 60 40. you don't have the possibility to fold down the middle part in order to carry long items like skis or stuff like that and this for me it is a little bit of downside now i just forget to adjust my seat let me adjust this front seat in my driving position i think maybe a little bit forward yeah in general this is the driving position let me go in the back this was very useful because i want to also simulate the reality i should say and also on the other side the seat is too much on the back so i sit here before so i should say just a little bit more forward i think now it's fine yeah now it's in normal position so this is the space here guys let me push this back just like that you have a flat floor this is the good part so if you look from here you see that you have a completely flat floor this is crazy useful and you can carry a lot of items here that's the good part uh, because you have plenty plenty of space even for this size of the car from my point of view it's super spacious and i go on the side and i will show you right now because if you open this door let me put the, the seat belt has a place here a placeholder or maybe i will leave it just like that for a while so you can see and then i will put it back but this is the entrance and the door it's opening pretty much i like that the entrance it's relatively big and then this is the space right here look at it entrance pretty big you have a pretty flat floor so yeah more than enough space right here also on the legs room you have more than enough space even though you have that transmission tunnel that's quite big i think it's fine that you can put also a few things down here so yeah relatively good now let me put it back and also put it back it's so light it's so easy i like that now i want to close the trunk very simple from there and then we will go forward before i go inside we talk a little bit about the doors one window from one piece that means if you want to fold it down you can fold it until here you cannot fold it completely down but it's just fine then in terms of quality here in the back on the upper side even though until you not touch it you don't know it's a plastic because it has this trim level that looks quite cool here it's plastic in this area the handles feel great here you have some stuff material textile material soft material here you can see leather it looks so nice and it feels super comfy have some glossy plastic 
with the button here you have a speaker here and then some storage space and here down it's some plastic but relatively good quality for this price range entrance is nice you can see from this area also those stove material they come standard you don't have to pay extra for it and even though they are stove material they are super comfortable and the quality of this stove material it's much better that you find in other cars to be honest and i like that i mean the quality it feels really good you have some side support here in the middle the good part is that you have an armrest and two uh, cup holders and then you have ease of fix for child you can install two child seats behind the front seats you have some stove material again soft you don't have plastic i like that some storage and in the middle transmission tunnel maybe 10 centimeters and then you have the vents here so no usb port also here in this area at least i was expected in 2024 to add some usb ports here yeah but it is what it is now i want to go inside and actually i want to go inside behind myself because only like that i can manage to see what is the real space so you can see the seats in the front you saw it before this is the space i'm 173 centimeters so you can make an idea and the space on my knees is more than okay i can stretch my legs in the front relatively good and also on my head like five fingers over my head so good space i really like it this is the handle this is the hook visibility outside uh, it's okay it's not the best but it's fine you have a small window there and yeah relatively good and also the comfort and the sitting position it's okay then up here we have some led lights and they are led lights and they look super cool the quality of the roof is not like i should say from one to ten maybe i will give it a seven something like that and then in the middle here let me go in the middle let's see how it is it's a little bit higher the space it's still fine you can see here five fingers and over my head i have also like three and a half four fingers over my head stretch my hands not completely and also here not completely but i think i think you can stay okay here for short medium trips you will be fine also with free person here we will go in the front and we will talk about the changes in the front there but if you look from from this area from this angle you will see that uh, yeah it's basically the same design there but it looks gorgeous i mean the way mazda designed the dashboard the lines the quality it looks really really different unique simple but in the same time uh, nice and different and complicated and i like that let's go in the front and let's talk about those things there on the door i like the fact that you have one big window from one piece it's not split here or stuff like that that allow you to have lovely visibility in the mirror i will show you when we go inside here you have a speaker and then you have another speaker right here here this time in the front we have soft material yeah and you can see the same trim as on the back but it's a soft material it's kind of a nice rubber stuff but it, it feels good here you can see also it's kind of a soft material you can see the stitches there it's kind of a leather then you have textile material in this area and here we have leather and soft material the buttons for the windows electric adjustable windows lock the windows electric adjustable mirrors and fold the mirror from here some glossy piano black then some storage space relatively good storage space and this is the entrance big entrance much bigger than on the on the back and then from here you can see uh, those seats fabric stove material seats manual adjustable seats from here you can adjust it manually position this is great and to be honest even though this is the entry level the most cheap version of the seats they look nice and they feel great i love them they are bright enough they are big enough and they are comfy enough so nice seats nothing to say about the seats there you have the pedals here you have some storage space to put different items and here you have the button to open the trunk a little bit higher you have this button that allow you to mute all the uh, sound alarms and all that safety features and then here you have the parking sensors traction control on and off stop 
a start and stop button it's here and then we have the vents that feel lovely man the vents quality it's really smooth and nice so the quality feel great soft material everywhere here in this area really love it i mean some quality it's super nice i mean the quality inside the car it's great now once you get here in terms of visibility you have great visibility around the windows and also in the mirrors the mirrors are a little bit zoom in so you can see you can see in the back there really farther away the cars and i like that and in the night time they are dimmed so it's it's super super nice mirrors visibility around the windscreen and around here it's great also even in the mirror up here you can see that the visibility is fine and also around the windows it's pretty pretty good here in the center console you have some soft leather here until down there where you have a little bit of plastic but everywhere the quality is very good and i like very much this armrest in leather you can also adjust it just like that look how fancy and how cold it is i mean i really like the way they design it and down here we have plenty of space and the first change that they bring to this model are two usb c with led light 12 volt port down there and you can also adjust this storage space here so pretty cool a little bit forward we have electronic handbrake auto hold the uh, controller for the multimedia system it's here so the screen even though we have this 10.3 inch new screen with uh, the possibility to connect your phone wireless you still have to control it from here if you want to control the functions that the multimedia come with if you want to control the apple carplay android auto you can use the touch uh, and I'll show you that this is really cool in the end but still I like the fact that while you're driving it's much more easier to to use those uh, buttons here then you have the volume knob and all that stuff then you have here the possibility to change two different driving modes normal mode or sport mode you can see on the screen there it will appear the sport mode and then you have the gear shifter also this is something new that this is in leather right now so yeah this is the change so this is kind of the second or it's like usb this one in leather leather and 10 inch point free 10.3 inch uh, display then you have two cup holders wireless charging here for your phone you can see right now my phone is resting there so that's great and then on the right side we have the the glow box that is super big from my point of view plenty of space in the glow box i like very much the way they design those vents here and they feel so good quality good quality soft material leather good quality here uh, soft material this is the head-up display one of the best head-up display out there these days you can see all kind of information from speed navigation lane assist adaptive cruise control all that stuff traffic signs speed limits and lovely the way they blend it in the the windscreen it's great handle up here you have also the possibility to see yourself in this vanity mirror with an led white led light up here so good good stuff good quality microphone it's here sos button plus glasses support i wish i have this on my car and then you have the led lights up there super nice and then the mirror with nice tiny edges and yeah the vents also here on both sides look super cool you can adjust the steering wheel forward down up depend how you want it manually so it's also very very simple and this is the screen the screen from what i read and from what i heard it's a little bit bigger the one in the middle i'm not sure about that but it's still basically kind of the same it's kind of a digital screen in the middle so when you close it and open it you will see that you can see different information but basically kind of the same stuff i love the grip on the steering wheel actually it's super good and in this area it feels a little bit like a porsche steering wheel kind of the same size i like that and then here we have the physical button for different functions and then here a physical button for cruise control I like that i like the fact that physical buttons everywhere can adjust different settings super simple start stop button it's here here we have the climatic system very simple to adjust and to change different settings heated seats for you and the passenger and plus we have dual climatic system this is also something new and i like that going to the multimedia system i will control it from the middle because it's the only way you can do that 
So you can see the navigation. I love, first of all, I want to tell you something. I love the way they place the navigation there because usually on other cars, you have the navigation around here so you can reach it out around here. Now, what I notice is that when the navigation is a little bit farther away, it's also much more natural when you're driving. It's on your peripheral view. It's more natural to look at it. You know, I mean, it doesn't take your your head too much of the road. So I like the way it's placed it and I like the fact that it's tilted to the driver. So it's, it's perfectly view from the driver's part. Navigation wise, super easy to use. And I like how rapid it is and I like how easy it is to use. And uh, you can also choose the destination and you can navigate there and it goes quite, quite fast. You can choose a new route and it's kind of navigate pretty, pretty fast. And I like it. I like the way it looks. I like this 10.3 inch screen. It's big enough and it's just perfect from my point of view. Other than that, if you go to the menu, you will see it's basically kind of the same menu with the same information here, fuel efficient monitoring and all other stuff like vehicle status monitoring. And then we have like, we have the entertainment with music and radio and all that stuff. We have communication where you can connect your phone. I will show you in the end of the video. And then you have navigation and then you have here the settings where you have all the settings of the car. Wait a second, it doesn't want to, my camera don't want to zoom in there. Now then you have the in vehicle detail like active driving display, center display, instrument cluster display. So those things you can also kind of adjust different size and information and uh, what you would like to see on them. Then you have sound settings. From here you can adjust different settings on the sound and you have pretty much settings. Uh, system button volume, the safety settings. We have the driver assistance systems right here where you can change the Mazda radar cruise control. You have traffic sign speed limit synchronized. You have the speed limit synchronized offset, the audible cruise confirmation, speed limit, sign recognition, audible alert, and all the other stuff. But plus you have these safety alerts, like cross, rear cross traffic alert. This is from, if I'm not wrong, uh, something new. I'm not sure if it was before. Lane departure warning system, blind spot monitoring, and that's it. Collision avoidance. We have also distance and speed alert. Lane keeping assist system, smart braking support, and yeah, those stuff I tested on the test drive video. If you want to see them, uh, check them out there. And then you have also some safety features, parking sensors alert, and pedal miss you alert, something that you don't find in other cars. Vehicle settings, doors, interior, exterior lights, raining sensors, turn signals and all other stuff settings are here, connectivity settings and system settings. System settings with clock, language, tire pressure, software updates, and all other stuff you find it around here. Connectivity settings. I, let me show you how you can connect your phone right now. So you have wireless connectivity, right? And let me show you, we go to the home and then you go to communication. And once you get to communication, you get to connect. Where is my phone? It's right here. Pair with from mobile, okay? And then you just have to open the Bluetooth. And once you open the Bluetooth, right? Let me go here. Come on, where are you? Open the Bluetooth and down here should appear Mazda. You see that? You just press on Mazda and then you wait. Pair, come on. Come on, come on, come on, and it should work. You try one more time. Let me start, let me try again. From here, pair, pair from vehicle, and then Dan's iPhone. You see now, it's find my iPhone there. And once you check Dan's iPhone, you press it once, and you wait a little bit, and it will appear on my phone. You just pair, just like that. And then allow, synchronize the contact and stuff like that. You wait a little bit and iPhone. And then 
it will ask me on the phone if I want to connect to CarPlay, Apple CarPlay, and I say OK. And then also there on the screen, allo, press allo, and it's connected right now. And you just wait a few seconds and then you don't even need to hold your phone because your phone can sit here. You just press allo and then that's it. Look at this, look at the screen right now. And the great part is that the screen, it's completely on Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's all over the screen. And the good part is that it allow you now to use it as a touch screen and how cool is that man and it works quite fast i love that and not only with touch screen but you can use it also with these controllers so you can use the controllers you can use the touch screen you can use it however you want you have all that apps from your phone directly here on the screen the screen is positioned perfectly there so you have such a good view and one of the most beautiful screen i really like the size and the way the screen look like it's really cool and the, the good part is that you can use also the voice command from the steering wheel here you press it more than three seconds how many degrees are outside today the high temperature today will be 11 degrees celsius and the low will be one degree celsius great right and then you can also navigate navigate to barcelona spain getting directions to barcelona how cool is that i mean look at this and you have everything there the internet connectivity the traffic and stuff like that it's perfect love it man love it really really love that and you can also control it from here the view and stuff like that cool right and the great part is that you can use the touch screen great Guys, I hope the video was useful. I hope you get a lot of useful information from this video. If you still have questions, ask me down below. I will answer with pleasure. From my point of view, I think it's a lovely car. With 32,000 euro, you can get this wonderful, wonderful Mazda. And from my point of view, it's a car that you should definitely take into consideration if you are on the market for a car in this class. Also, if you are in Romania, in Bucharest, and if you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car. Also, if you are in Europe and you want to import the car from here, if it's cheaper to import it from here and it has a better price, you can come and buy it from Ariane Motors. I will leave the link in the description also on the screen. They are super nice and they have great prices. And right now I heard from them that they will have some discount so yeah definitely check them out my rating for this mazda cx30 2024 actually basically the same car from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9 because it's a great car with a lot of great features that you can have on the car at a good price i think it's a comfortable car a very reliable car it's a great engine with great systems uh, that uh, can last very well in time and yeah mazda is mazda it's it's the quality the materials inside they're premium they're nice it's not many things to say about it also the exterior design look just super nice anyway that was the video guys don't miss out the test drive don't miss out the consumption test i thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video i really appreciate that wish you all a happy new year and stay healthy and safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys